The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Hello and welcome to the Snack Authority. I'm Sarah. With me is Phil, Dave. Ed is off camera. How's it going? And, it's uh, where I belong. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> we didn't want you up here. No. And uh, we're diving into some very seasonal treats now. It's about that time of the year. As it turns out, most people listen to us. Yeah? Don't watch us. They really? Listen, yeah. You would think they wouldn't want to look at the... Don't you want to... Yeah, yeah. The, the, kooky, the kooky snacks coming out. Yeah, but... Especially around this time. Majority listen, but we'll, we'll take it any way we can get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll describe as best we can. Yeah. <laughs> we're pretty good at it, really, yeah. right? Yes. So the uh, the kooky snack of the day is yes. the Kit Kat Witch's Brew. Because it is October. It's Halloween time. We're getting to the... Uh, yeah. And, you know, for this year, I think there was a lot of concern in the snack industry about how COVID might affect the Halloween candy sales. Absolutely. So Hershey in particular came out with three big offerings. Come on, you can get it. There we go. <laughs> For the 2020. At home, you use your teeth, huh? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the three Hershey's Throw offerings for 2020. <laughs> they're, they're flying we got everywhere. A, we got a studio audience. Right. If, if you're not watching, uh, <laughs> we're, we're tossing candy <laughs> tossing. all over the place. But this one is the... Kit Kat Halloween Witches Brew. Um, and these have a distinctive purple wrapper. And when they're opened, oh. you're going to see a pale green coating. All right, it is. And cool. just Very so witchy. you know, don't be scared. It's not mint. There's a glow in the dark. It looks like it oh, does yeah, not. It's it that looks hue that of, way. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. It's that green. But if, if we're being descriptive, it's that like frosting. Bacon for us. All of yeah, that Hershey glow in the dark is just the packaging glows in the dark. Uh, they do that for Halloween as well. And yeah, good news is it's not mint. It uh, does. It's mint or it glows? No, it glows in the dark. Are the you middle sure? of it. The middle of it glows in the does dark. Does it actually? Uh, oh my gosh, wait, he might be right. <laughs> it can't glow in the yeah, dark. Yeah, the middle the, glows in the dark. What do you think? It's radioactive? I can't oh, tell. I'm going to find out. Like, no, I no. think it's a light, like going, <laughs> the light going through the center, right? Yeah. If you're not, wa- people aren't watching, if you're yeah. not watching this mess, maybe, yeah. maybe you should. See, maybe you should. You have no idea what's but happening here. The, this candy has the crunch of a classic Kit Kat wafer, but the coating is... Vanilla chocolate. White no. chocolate. Marshmallow. No. Marshmallow. Marshmallow it smells flavor. like a marshmallow. Okay. Just going into it. Oh, yeah. It's marshmallow Oh, my flavor. gosh. Okay. So I just need to point something out because I needed oh, to pay attention Phil as to how people bite. are eating their Kit Kats. Dave and Phil just took a bite out of the Kit Kat that was still together, I, meaning they didn't break the wafer. Yeah. And therefore, did. they are psychopaths. Right. Really? I'm civilized. The rules. Oh, you have to break it in two? Yeah. Well, even if it's like a Kit Kat comes in three, and I understand you got to break that up. Well, I think I it's four care. in the standard okay. size. Bar. High, five, high five, Psycho Brother. Here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. So you think there's something wrong with them? That's a very early indicator. Well, I'll tell Give you this. Give it to your three-year-old. I'm grateful I'm do. not sitting between those two psychos. I've never broken it apart, ever. Are you kidding? Never. Like, not even the big ones? Nope. Nope. Man, you got a, you got a real problem. Listen, it's quite all, sweet. all this didn't happen overnight, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> But it just enriches the experience, you know. You get mm-hmm. to you get to break it. Normally, it's chocolate on the on the top. Yep. This one now has a marshmallow. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not Pretty bad. Good. It's very it's sweet. The combination of marshmallow and white chocolate seems. Yeah. Which yeah. white chocolate isn't chocolate, right? I don't, we've had, I don't we've like had, white chocolate. Yeah, we haven't had we've had that conversation before. Yeah, no, Gross. it's not real. Um, <laughs> So, As opposed to this marshmallow, which is absolutely <laughs> right. real. Oh, it tastes so natural. 
Very sweet, though. So, Kit Kat is my favorite um, candy ever. Always really? has been. Yep. And, like, if I get my hands on a original Kit Kat, I can't stay out of it. But, yeah. like, I had my one. And you're and good. I, and I feel like I'm And that's yeah. plenty? It Do you was like so, this size? so sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like this size better or the jumbo? The big Kit Kat? No, I'm like, um, no. I'm this. an original. I'm so, an you're original. not a big cat kind of person? I'm not a big cat person, no. But you are a cat person? Very much so. Mm hmm. Very much so. Well, you know, with Halloween coming up, and we will. In future episodes, sample some more of the Hershey 2020 Halloween lineup. But you know, Oreo's got to be doing something, yeah. right? They're always doing something. And I saw at the market this week, they've got the Boo cookies out again, which we had last season. It's really just orange cream with different wafers that have images on them. But now they've got a spooky graveyard chocolate cookie kit. So it's a whole kit you buy. and okay. Have fun you, with the kids? Well, yeah, you build a mini haunted graveyard. Are, are, they, gonna, are they even doing trick-or-treating now this year? It's not even going to happen. I don't believe so. So what do you do? You, you buy one of these and give you the kid the whole them. bag of them? Yeah, I think that's easier, yeah. Here, just take this and shut up. Well, a lot of, a lot of them <laughs> So that's what? how you normally do So you know what they somebody should do is make a mixture pack. Like you went trick or treating and it's all done. Trick or treat all done for you. And there's so, a couple of these and a few of those. So Hershey's has those. Oh, of course. Where you buy one bag and it's got some of all the Hershey offerings, but you're not going to gonna, gonna go cross companies. manufacturer. No. no, but somebody like us could do it next mm -hmm. year. Did you see what that guy in Ohio did? He put a PVC pipe, put black and orange tape around it. Taped it to the railing so he could shoot candy down to the kids from the top step. Oh, I how nice. Love it. That's so they special. just put their bag there, boom, and shoot it right down. And he just shoots it down. That's it. Uh, and then good for COVID-19 too, right? Yeah, you know, just it. go by. That's a delightful story. It is. That is, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's my people too. I love it. But, nice. you know, the graveyard. The candy shoot. The yeah. candy shoot, yeah. The graveyard. You don't even have to wrap the gift, the, the candy. You put your mouth on the end of it and <laughs> shoot it down. And, boom. <laughs> and guess what it is? No, you're no. going to have a lot of germ transfer uh, if everyone's putting their mouth on there. Yeah. Don't right. encourage that. All right. <laughs> um, you know, I'm the, just trying to take it to another level. The, the graveyard kit comes with a mausoleum and headstones. The, they have pre-cut cookie shapes, you know, which oh are gosh. the Oreo wafers. And all you got to worry about is sticking them together. And so the kit includes full-size Oreo cookies, mini Oreos, pre-made icing, you know, so it's like a, instead of a gingerbread house, you've got it's an Oreo house. Yeah. So was there, was there cream in between the layers? Because this says marshmallow flavored cream. I mean, the... So maybe no, the outside that, the, is the, not... The, the mar oh, marshmallow flavored, it is marshmallow flavored. Um, That's what they put on the outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exclusively, but I don't think, I don't, that's See, your traditional Marshmallow flavored cream. Marshmallow. Crisp wafers in marshmallow flavored cream. Ah, mm -hmm. in. There it is. Yeah, in. They use that cream terminology very loosely. Yeah. Yep. It seems like a white chocolate. Does it right. say mm -hmm. cream or creme? Creme. Creme. Yeah. With like the creme little. Brulee. Yeah. Oh, I just boy. want it the little. fancy. It's no, more I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. eh. I'd take the regular one over this. I'm, yeah. I'm with her. Yeah. Well, okay. she's right. But. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the holiday season put out something different. But you know, worse put something out worse. Yeah, yeah. Make oh. people appreciate how fortunate they are all year long that they don't have to eat. These. The person buying this is think they're doing a nice thing. It's whole Halloween. I'll give the kids the, the witches brew one because it's Halloween. It'll be something special for them. It's worse than the regular one. Oh, I no. got to kick it. Oh, it's the witch's brew one. Well, oh. some, kids <laughs> might, some kids might favor it just because it is so sweet. It's a lot sweeter than yeah. the regular one. Yeah, it is. But, it's okay. you know, we got more holidays coming up and more opportunities, right? So Oreo's got something else Give it in a six. mind. Six out of ten, I'd say. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. Oreo is going to kick off the holiday season with gingerbread Oreos. I'm interested. I, I thought you would that. be. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, 
This is a, a good trend, right? Because pumpkin spice, we're not even doing anything this year. We did some last year. Yeah, it's so it's over. Overdone. Yeah, you know? it's overdone. But gingerbread, on the other hand, this may be taking us somewhere new. Well, Nabisco is going to release a new limited edition flavor. And you'll be able to find these, uh, you know, with the regular flavors in your local supermarket what they're going to do is they're going to do the different designs like they did on the boo cookies right so there's a design stamped yeah five different ones but um that doesn't be, do it for me and nobody looks no but the the wafer is going to be gingerbread and it's the the traditional oreo cream yeah with the addition of some crunchy sugar crystals so so yeah. just sugar Sugar crystals, yeah. But sugar is... Uh, is a crystallized sugar. Yeah, usually when they're referring to it in this way... Thicker? It, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll be a coarser Okay. Like sugar. a kosher salt, but it's a... Right, yeah. but made of sugar. Yeah. Yeah, kosher salt made of sugar, <laughs> exactly. So it's, like, it's like a coarse pixie stick. Type well, of sure. <laughs> yeah. So I think we'd better get our hands on some of these and figure out what they're all yeah. about. I, I would like gingerbread... I think it's a good combination. Sounds good. Maybe a ginger snap with the Oreo inside. You know, I don't think we've ever explored the classic ginger snap. Love the ginger snap. Now, is that because you're old? Maybe. Do you like <laughs> Sarah? I like, do you like, I like ginger, ginger s- snaps? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I've been told I'm an old soul, though. Yeah. So. Phil, Phil's not sold on Maybe the ginger. They're soul. okay. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. okay. Yeah. I like them a lot. With really? like milk or coffee? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you do with this? You just I'd say eat milk, them plain? Milk. Yeah, eat them plain. Coffee in the morning. Is there something you could do with yeah, that? Yeah, coffee, tea. What if you took milk. the icing that came with that Oreo kit and put a little bit on the, yeah. like a little bit of icing on a ginger snap? That might be Might be it. it. That's somewhere. why I'm saying instead of put use the ginger snap instead of the. Um, yeah, instead of. Gingerbread, gingerbread, just go ginger snap. Which is already round and ready to go because gingerbread is not right. a cookie, so it's already set. Yep. I'm imagining gingerbread to be a lot softer and less of a... No, if you think about, you know, like a gingerbread cookie, yeah, it's gingerbread crunchy. house, right? Yeah, it's crunchy. You ever eat a gingerbread house? Yes. I've eaten a piece of one. No. I've never eaten a whole residence. Yeah. With all those, with all, <laughs> you know those, um, yeah. <laughs> those um, jelly candy that look like bells? Yeah. You put those, like make the shingles yeah. on the roof. Yeah, and but everything. I oh, mean, yeah. it's all crap. Are, yeah. yeah, I was like, if, you buy, if you're buying a kit, it's often like unflavored. Yeah, well, it's ginger. it's like only never... one step above actual building materials. Yeah. You know, it's just marginally but you can edible. Eat it. Yeah. I've done yeah. some serious deconstruction of gingerbread houses. Really? For sure. Are you yeah. Serious? Do you oh, yeah. like make them, or are they the kits that you buy at Walmart? No, like you, you know, like I, my daughter used to make them in school, and then I just like eat them, eat them. I don't think yeah. that's what they're meant <laughs> eat for. Eat the house. All right, bring the so house down. I would say <laughs> overall, nobody's crazy about this, which not is not terrible. Rare. But I, I, I'd say a six out of ten is is it's fair. Yeah. yeah, you know, I, I agree a hundred percent with Sarah. I don't need another one of these. Yeah. You know, you still got all the sweet in your mouth. If this was the chocolate one, I would want another one. I would have several more. Yeah, because yeah. they're small. The have several. Would be like this. And, and why it's a limited release is never come out as a regular product because it's not going to sell. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is just for Halloween. But, uh, you know, coming up on one of the episodes, I've got some interesting Kit Kat news. But we're going to save that for another day. Save it for another okay. day. And that's it for Kit Kat Witch's Brew. Six out of 10, says the Snack Authority. These are the snack size ones. You won't see these in a full size because. Uh, it's just not that good. <laughs> it's just not that good. <laughs> Somebody had to say it, so we said it. Happy Halloween. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.